Hi, I'm Joey Pickavance with the Tour Academy at Pronghorn Club in beautiful Bend, Oregon. I put together a series of tips and drills to help you play your best golf ever. So come on inside my Tour Academy building and let's get started. Let's talk about alignment. It's a continuation of our Mastering the Basics series. And alignment is one of those very detailed items that we need to discuss. There's probably no greater abuse in your amateur player than misalignment. They misalign to either accommodate or compensate for an errant ball flight, or it's just visual optics. They don't have parallel lines seen or visualized very well. If you go to a tour event, you're always going to see a touring professional use some sort of an alignment feature. I'm going to use a couple sticks that you know are very readily available on the market today. This first stick I'm going to lay down is going to represent our target line. And our target line is always pointing right to the target. And the ball sits on that line, and it's a straight line infinitely right to our target. This orange stick is going to represent the stance line. Now stance line is always parallel to the target line. Now remember, great champions have won major events and been fantastic players from a closed stance line or a stance line that aims a little bit to the right. But the target line never changes. Wonderful champions have played from an open stance line. So there's a preference there, but I would just recommend that as, a, as, a, as an amateur or recreational player, you definitely want to work on your game from what we call a square stance line. So not only is your stance supposed to be square, but your knees, your hips, your shoulders, and more importantly, your forearms should also be aligned in a parallel fashion. So that's a, an important part to get right within your practice routine. Um, at the very minimum, you should just have one stick between you and the golf ball that's aimed parallel left of your target. Remember, the ball sits on the only line that's going to the target, okay? The only other thing I would like you to make sure that you practice is a ball position line because I do believe that's an integral part of alignment, okay? So with, with whatever you do, forward ball position, center ball position, you have to have that perpendicular stick to help make sure that you're maintaining the correct ball position because the ball position is also an integral part of your overall alignments.